Okay, for this video, I wanted to show y'all the process of me designing my new original characters that I made for Valentine's Day. Yes, I know it's way past Valentine's Day that I'm disqualified, but I'ma still post this video anyway. I came up with the idea back in January when I was brainstorming YouTube video ideas. I was like, let's make a Valentine's theme OC for February. I naturally started off with resourcing uh, Cupid in their original naked curly haired blonde baby boy. And honestly with me, it's very easy for me to make new characters. Just give me a theme and it may take a second, but I'll shoot off with so many different ideas for them. And that's exactly what happened this time. I can't even remember how I got there, but I was originally going to make a blonde haired boy, but then it turned out, it turned into what if the original Cupid wasn't the blonde haired boy that we all know, but was actually someone else. And then my mind just went rampant. I'm calling them the Cupids, the three main characters, Akia, Archer, and Ife. So here's the synopsis, or however you say it. The original Cupid didn't have blonde hair and blue eyes as we all come to know, but was actually someone else who will name Akira, or Q, short for Cupid. He was taken as a child by the love fairies, or something like that, that live in the clouds slash parallel world to be their messenger of love and peace, aka Cupids, to the humans. Given a pair of wings and equipped with a bow and arrows dipped in powerful love, his mission for the next hundreds of years was to bring peace and love to wars by allying humans and nations by piercing their hearts through with his spiked arrows which cause an unexplainable and overwhelming sensation called love. To have this power and the beautiful ability to soar through the skies will have anyone training their life to have. But unknowingly, that is exactly what it costs. Upon being taken as a child, the fairies erased his memory of his own family and the life he lived before. A day came when Akira's memory suddenly returned and he realized the evil and cruelness of the guardians to take the lives of children all in the name of peace and love. Akira decided to quit being their son and left, uh, I guess the organization or whatever the fairies call it, but by then it was too late. As time moves on, Akira's body only slowly follows. He's now a grown man, but as for his family, well, they're all dead. While well, Cupid the human world begins to revert back to chaos, and the fairies beg Akira to return. Akira refuses, but they insist he comes back just until they get another Cupid. Seeing how chaotic the world is becoming, he reluctantly agrees and against his own morals, he chooses a young boy named Archer, who he voids of all his memories, to become his apprentice and the next Cupid. Along the journey, he takes another part-time apprentice, Ife, who has her memories and lives between the fairy world and her human home. So Ife is a bit older than Archer, but I'm trying to see what age I want them to be. I'm thinking maybe in the beginning they'll be kids slash teenagers, but as the story progresses they'll get older. Maybe she's like an older sister to him, but then as puberty hit, hits, Archer develops a crush on her. Also, so I'm still fleshing out how this story is. But there's still plot holes and everything in the story, but like the reason why Ife is only part time, like not a full cute Cupid, is because of the idea that Akira has that the fairies are quite against. He's like instead of kidnapping children and erasing their memories and forcing them to be Cupids, he's like, let's just start taking adults or we'll take children, but they still have their memory and then we can do it that way. The fairies are like, the reason why they take children is because children are more powerful and loved than adults. Adults are full with anger and hatred and like trauma, all this other stuff. But children are innocent and they're more prone to love people and love things. So they take them. And also the reason why they erase their memories is because if you were taking us your home, aka kidnap, you probably wouldn't want to be Cupid. You wouldn't want to do what they tell you to do, even if you do get a pair of wings. So that's why they erase their memory so that they will not have the attachment to their families and wanting to go back home. So that's why they erase their memories. But Akira's like, let's just keep let people have their memories. Yes, they'll age and we'll have to keep training. Oh yeah, that's another thing. If they have people that have 
like part-time cupids, they still age. And so the fairies are like, we will have to have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cupids because they'll keep dying instead of having like only like maybe 10 or 20 harmony that they have and they last for hundreds of years but Akira's like I don't care this method that you have is messed up so he's like that's what he's slowly trying to do and, I, and Ife is like the test run she's like the test run person t subject to see how well this actually works so the fairies are like we'll see how this goes also the relationship between Akira and Ife is a bit strain because Ife is only part-time slash half cupid she still ages like a regular human and knows her truth about how the fairies take and erase children's memories and she hates that and she wants to tell Archer the truth but Akira forces her not to because if she does that could dramatically cause some trauma and uh make him not want to become like not want to be cupid anymore and the world needs a cupid and Akira also told her that if she does tell him she'll be stripped of her wings and her memory as well so she's like kind of uh, about it. Akira doesn't like it any more than she does but unfortunately it has to be done because of that the two of them are always kind of stuck with each other and innocent aka stupid Archer always wonders why <laughs> he's like why you like why are you guys always arguing why are you guys always fighting I'm like dummy anyway Ife regularly argues with Akira to tell him the truth, like keep saying how he needs to tell the truth, which he says he will when the right time comes, but she's like, by then it's most likely going to be too late. And I was thinking that maybe all cupids have blue eyes, and I was also thinking maybe blonde hair as well, but when I added pink to Ife's hair, I was like, no, I can't, it can't all be blonde. I honestly didn't haven't drawn her with, like colored her with blonde hair. I'm gonna have to see how that looks. But maybe all of them will have blue eyes. And oh my goodness, my iPad and Apple Pencil were straight tweaking the entire time I was making this video. I was so mad. Like it was fine before, but now it's like it kept glitching, like randomly turning off, even though it was fully charged and color picking when I didn't want it to. And the screen kept zooming in and out like, bruh, stop, please. I literally had to stop and take a break because I was finna fling that $130 pencil across the freaking room. And I want the story to be like, have extra action to it so maybe i'm starting to think of kingdom hearts that's the only thing i think of like the heartless maybe having like black blobs or something i want there to be some type of villain art like that forces evil forces to it so i have to think of, about that give me some ideas if y'all have any and especially on the way that they should look because I, I just keep thinking of heartless from kingdom hearts and it fits it so well though Akia is like the Grim Reaper, doesn't smile, doesn't laugh. Because of his past and the lies he's been told by like the fairies and the death of his family and the woman he loved, he's developed philophobia, which at first I thought that meant something else, not gonna lie. But it has made, it's made him to be a very slightly harsh teacher. And on top of that, Akira is jealous of the joy and happiness Archer has that he once possessed as well. It's unfortunately made him bitter and rude to Archer, but he's just afraid to love again for fear of losing the ones that he cares for. But it seeps in sometimes as he looks on at Archer as his own son, something he never had a chance to have.
So Archer is Cupid, like the Cupid that we've all known. And he is honestly kind of stupid. He's like an innocent child that doesn't know any better. So he doesn't always say and do the right things. Not as in like a bad person. He just is kind of dumb. And people usually say that he is immature even as he gets older. He's, he's just like a, he's a kid at heart, I guess you could say. He often has difficulties on choosing who he makes falls in love and who doesn't. His biggest mistake right now was putting two people together who Akia, his teacher, warned him not to and he did it anyway and caused a full-fledged war. Yeah, because of that, the fairies don't ever let him leave on missions all alone. He's all, They're always like, someone has to go with this idiot.
I'm also trying to see if Akira should have different color wings instead of just white to help him stand out more since he's mainly wearing black. But it kind of, I don't know, it just kind of doesn't look right with him having a different color wings. Like it takes away like, it, it takes away from him looking like Cupid, like a angel of love to me. At least that's not my opinion. thinking that now that Akira is older and more knowledgeable he just makes his own bow instead of waiting for the fairies to give him his in case like when it breaks or something but now it's not really a bow anymore but rather a blaster or aka a blicky for more of a punch hence why I gave him holsters in one of his designs they're also stronger against the heartless haters whatever the bad things are called that consume love 